Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I uh, 3D scan this brush It's uh, about the size of my fingertips and create a mold cavity for uh, 3D printing with a uh, flexible lasing So first step, I'm going to scan this brush with the uh, CR Scan Laptop X and uh, CR Scan Otter and then I will use this uh, model to cut out the cavity in this mold. This subject is a very small and thin and it has a metallic surface. So I scan the back side and also uh, the front side and then I will merge it in the CR scan software see if they can merge uh, the object this thin. I will start with the CR scan laptop. Actually this one is laptop X but I will use uh, 7 lines blue laser because we need all the help that we can get so the surface area of this object is uh, very small. I need, I need a lot of point cloud for merging so I need to uh, split it. So I want the object to be as close to the markers as possible So I will not use the external marker I will use the sticker marker on a flat surface So it will be uh, as close to the object as possible Okay now we are ready for scanning Okay the scanner is ready I will use the uh, highest resolution 0.1mm I'm going to start scan in a uh, seven line blue laser. I'm gonna move the uh, table toward myself just a bit. Okay, I'm going to stop the scanner. Okay, now I will uh, move to uh, the author. Okay, so I never tried this with the author before. This object is uh, relatively small, just the size of my thumb. So I don't know if this will work. I try small mode with the marker. Uh, exclude flat base. I'll just click no. Maybe it will work better. See if the author also can do this. I move in just a little bit closer. Okay, start the scan now. Okay, I will go back and splay the other side. We can look at the spray surface. It gives a uh, even and thick. Uh, layer of a uh, powder coating. I think it's uh, much better than AE sub. I used to use uh, AE sub a lot in the past, but the coating is, is too thin and it uh, evaporates very really fast when uh, you are using in the warmer climate. It goes away in like five minutes and it evaporate. So if you um, uh, don't mind uh, watching your object after scanning. I think SKDS2 will give a uh, uh, best result. The author already been connected to the PC. Small marker, high quality.
to have already renamed all the scans. We have four scans, two from the laptop and two from the outer. 0.1 millimeter. We have about 57,000 points only, so not much of the surface area. So again, let's move to the other. Let's try 0 0.15. Uh, I know what the sensitivity slider does to the scan. After you process the point cloud and you find that some of your point cloud is missing, you slide it all the way to the right and it will come back. Usually it uh, happened with the author. Here's the result from the uh, author, 36,000 point, and not bad actually. On the left is the laptop, on the right is the author. You can say that the laptop is, uh, has a higher detail. The laptop on the left is sharper. I will use the laptop for this. Okay, let's try to merge it. I will merge the manual, uh, laptop front and laptop back. So uh, this uh, two object is too small to put the marker on. So I cannot use the marker merging. So I try to align it, but it might not work a hundred percent. One, two, I'm trying to find a point where sharing the same goal. Three, four, let's try to merge it. Okay. There's some uh, extended edges that go beyond the surface of the top scan. Click yes, exit merging. Okay, I will, uh, we have about 123,000 points. Let's try to mesh it. I need to do uh, a bit of the cleanup here. You see here. And okay, I show you how I clean this up. I will export as an OBJ and then we do uh, repairing, model repairing. Okay, we are in uh, Adobe Substance uh, 3D Modeler. I'm going to import the mesh from uh, the laptop. Uh, unit scale is a millimeter. Click import. Okay, now we have the model. I'm going to do a right click and convert it into a clay. Because uh, Substance Modeler, they use a voxel. So we can cut and add and smooth very easy. There's few things to repair. Okay, here's the part where I make uh, more cavity.
So um, you can use the Raptor X for uh, 3D scan agility, uh, but you need to be able to repair the model. Uh, my favorite software for repairing the model is the Adobe Substance Modeler. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks you guys uh, for watching. I will see you in the next video.